Okay, so this will be the third and last part of the video clip series. Um, we put up the pieces of paper, showed you how to set up the job, hung the first sheet of paper on video. Now I'm going to show you the double cut on one of the sheets. And basically that's going to be the end. I have just one more full sheet of paper to hang. And uh, let's go ahead and do the double cut. We're looking at this seam right over here. Now let me just show you my seam, which you won't be able to see because I'm gonna show you the trick. Honestly, I don't know where the seam is, so I'm just gonna let you try to find it because I really don't know where it is. Actually, I just found it. So the seam is in that, what you were just looking at. Now, here's a double cut seam that we're gonna to have to do right here. And uh, how am I gonna do it? Well, there's a lot of ways you can do it. But the way I'm going to do it is to throw a laser line down the down the uh, the seam, and I'm going to cut on the laser line so that I don't have to hold a level. Some guys do it just by eye, and they're actually just almost perfect. But um, I'm going to do it by the laser because can't go wrong, right? So. Here I go, I'm going to put the laser right over here. Now you really want to be careful not to get that thing in your eyeball. Alright, so what am I doing here? What I want, you see, underneath this paper here, underneath this, this sheet that ends right here, is this sheet. I have it overlapped so that I can create a man-made seam instead of a factory seam. It's actually because the temperature of the paper is all, everything is right now, instead of when it was made, my seam is gonna be better than what the factory did. And that's why commercial wallpaper usually is paper that overlaps and you do what's called a double cut. And what that means is you're cutting through the top sheet, you're cutting through the bottom sheet with a single edge blade. This is the trick of the cut right here. If you use a double edge blade, which you could do, a lot of guys use them. I've used them myself. What you're doing is you're voiding more wallpaper as you slice through it. And when you join it again, it's not 100%. This is a single edge blade. This is as thin as it gets. And so when you slice through the paper, when you join the paper back together, it literally comes together better than the factory edge. Okay, let's try it. Now at the top, I'm gonna cut it with a double edge. There's just no way to start the cut with this thing. You can't get it up in the, in the corner. So but at the very top, I'm gonna do it with the double edge. So in case you see me doing it, you wonder why. All right. Okay, this is a 20 inch. The longer the better, because the less you have to take the thing off the wallpaper, the better it is. So, actually I'm gonna move my laser line over half, halfway, right? I'm gonna cut up, I'm gonna cut up on that thing. That's where I wanna cut, right there. I wanna make sure I got paper all underneath it. If you mess it up, you're finished, you can't do it. Okay. Were you waiting for me, Justin? No, I don't. Oh, watch. Okay, cool. Okay, so. Now you can see it. You'll get the idea once I come down to your level. The 
Remember, I'm going to start with the double edge. Okay. Now, can you cut the wallpaper? I'm sorry, can you cut the sheet rock underneath it? Yes, if you're not careful. But if you know the strength of your wallpaper, after you've done this a while, you get to know the strength of your blade and how far it's penetrating. And they sell sleeves so that you don't go through the sheetrock anyway. They actually sell, it's called a, um, oh, I'll get the name of it. Bedding. B-E-D-D-I-N-G. It's called bedding. Okay, so you can see I'm keeping my tool along that laser line, which is give, it's guiding me to tell me what's straight, you know? You'll never get it straight unless you use something, a level, and you're cutting against the level. your strips out of the way so now that you can join your paper That's your new cut. What you're seeing on that laser line is actually the new seam. Now, to work that seam, to make it perfect, you have to work it back and forth, keep wiping it, and then the seam becomes like the one you saw over there. But you gotta work it, you gotta now stretch out the seam because the areas to the left and the right of the new seam 
have to be spread out and stretched. Okay, so there you have it. I think I'll end the video instruction here. The rest is, as you saw on the first and part of the second clip, it's just hanging the rest of the wallpaper. But that's the meat and potatoes of hanging your wallpaper uh, project. If you like the video, please click on like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. See you on the next video.